Oh, yeah. <coughs> now there's like so many birthdays. Huh? Mm. Are you tired? Oh, yeah. Come on. I'll take a picture of you. So we can see the pito. Does he have booties? I mean, he has Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, look how skinny he is next to her. And he also has a birthmark here. Bruce. No, but my daughter. Is that Shalim? He's got a first mark like you. You go beep? And the ankle. What is that? Marshall, you go back to Kamenia. Yeah. Hey, gosh, that's for the boy. Yeah, you go back to Kamenia. Is this for a Hollywood star here? It's for Hollywood Tyler. Like Simba. Like Simba. Like Simba. Like Simba. Like Simba. Like Simba. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. It looks like a little bit of 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 Labas yung paa. Maiwan yung paa. Burrito wrap. Pita wrap. Pita wrap. Pita wrap. Sega from Target. Yeah. 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 And a camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was telling you, we bought the, uh, the carrier and the stroller. Uh -huh. And sometimes you can also use it as a scooter. <laughs> Where did you get that from? Or a skateboard. <laughs> He's going to have that for a while then. <laughs> All girls. Ang kapal ng buhok ano? Six hundred seven. 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 Six hund
Indica, you can turn. I know. <laughs> wow, great. <laughs>
in order to give this event the dignity and the meaning that it deserves, we request that you remain calm and silent to the best degree that you can. We know you are very happy that your sons and daughters are here this afternoon. We ask, however, that during the processional and the reading of the names and the presentations of the diplomas, that you refrain from cheering as best as you can so that all names will be heard clearly and when all the graduates have received their diplomas, we can give them the rousing applause that they deserve. Let the processional begin for the class of 2001. Wendy Cucho, Timothy Martinez, 
Mr. Morrison, Mrs. Wilson, faculty, family, friends, ladies and gentlemen of West High School graduating class of 2001. I now invite you all to let go of this ceremony for just a few minutes. We're going to play a little guy on the time show, temporarily launching ourselves away from the Stadium. Picture, if you will, a place beyond the farthest reaches of uncharted space. It's a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. And a wise man is rising to the aspiring Jedi pupil with this bit of intellectual guidance. Do or do not. Do or do not. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? I'm sure we can all think back to a time when we even found ourselves implementing this morsel of advice into our daily lives. Should I or shouldn't I cram for my breakfast test tomorrow? The answer was simple. Do or do not. Should I or shouldn't I attend school today? Do or do not. Sometimes it was do, but more often it was do not. I can probably speak for everyone sitting before me when I say that the time wasting squandered on this do or do not allow resulted in a sort of blood hate relationship with our education. We blamed it for all our woes, but turned around to gratefully accept any honor bestowed on us. I'd like to clarify a little something here today. Despite what you may think, West didn't put these caps on our head, and West didn't give us that attention. Oh no, my beautiful friends. That was us. <coughs> Our time at West was only what we made of it by asking ourselves if we chose to do or do not. We eventually designed the direction of our future. We must have made some right choices along the wrong way, or we wouldn't be sporting the gowns and caps here today. But what did we do? How did we emerge victorious? in this race for our long-awaited high school diploma. I'll let you in on the timeless Jedi secret. It was through a dose of confidence in ourselves, united with good old-fashioned work. Every one of us possesses the power to make our dreams a reality, provided we persist in practicing the self-made uncovered during our fleeting high school career. I've had the grand pleasure these past four years of catching glimpses of these astonishing attitudes in a vast majority of you. It genuinely gives me pride to be graduating among such capable human beings. Not a one of you has saved an entire galaxy from the foul clutches of an evil empire. But I, for one, still think you're all pretty amazing. Physically, some among you can pitch a ball faster than can flip on a light switch, run miles through a rainstorm, stare bravely into a needle to donate blood for the sake of another, paint panoramas that would put Picasso to shame or endure six hours of testing strain, only to surface from the lurch of the library, actually breathing. You know who you are. But this didn't all happen by coincidence or talent. This happened because you felt that you could succeed and acted upon that feeling. This happened because of what's going on up here. Without a can-do mindset, success ceases to exist. The mind mystifies. Individuals have proven throughout the course of history that they can do most anything they set their minds to do. 
And scientifically speaking, people don't even exploit but a percentage of their brain mass. Just imagine what we could pull off using our whole brain. As Luke Skywalker, apprentice to Master Yoda, discovered, all he needed to become a Jedi Knight was confidence in his own abilities. Sure, the Force was good and fine, but Skywalker was the young Padawan who ultimately persevered. Class of 2001, I implore you, don't compromise your goal as you turn the squishy thing in the front of your face to the other side of your cap. Instead, use the guidance we've obtained from what ties very own Master Yoda to go forth and materialize all those dreams, regardless of their seemingly insurmountable facade. Bear in mind that Yoda cautions Luke the differences are in your mind. Appearance has no meaning. It matters not. Look at all that we've achieved so far. Don't settle for a mediocre existence. We've accomplished so much, but there is so much more yet to be done. In making laws for ourselves, it's absolutely necessary that we recognize success is only what we define success to be and only what makes us sincerely happy. If your vision is to become a millionaire nightclub owner on the alluring Las Vegas Strip, then just go out and make it happen. I won't lie to you, there will be a Darth Vader or two along the way might make us feel as pint-sized as we walk. But I remind you that those fuzzy little creatures triumphed in the Battle of Endor. That was episode six, by the way. My point is, if he wants to do it, what makes you think we can? There's no difference between Jedi Knights and warriors like yourself. Even though our time here has reached the final chapter, it's my hope that we'll always carry the precious memory of friendship day, dance, dance, alma mater sung gracefully out of tune, those painful all-nighters in which many of us unearth the wonder of caffeine. But most importantly, I hope remember what we've learned through our many and varied experiences to be true to our intuition. The wise man I mentioned earlier was merely a character of science fiction, but his words told a serious message for a non-fictional world, a world of reality. Fellow graduates, do keep one comment. Promise that whenever you're having one of those horrible, miserable, no good, very bad days, and you escape outdoors to look up into that vast, velvety night sky covered with stars, listen carefully. If you play time travel once more, you just might hear the voice of that funny dream man resound within you. He whispers encouragement and convinces you that you hold the skill to arrive at the humanly impossible. So go forth into the world, the universe if you're so inclined, and show some folks out there. Have fun. Be stalwart if you haven't already done so. Choose do rather than do not. Good evening. Society teaches us that the days of our youth are the best of our lives. As people grow older, however, 
they are often led to believe that somehow their options become more limited. With every claim that high school will be remembered as the best time of our lives, and with every suggestion that we need to get our acts together to build our futures, we can be made to feel as though our directions in life are becoming narrow. If there's one thing that I've learned, though, in these past four years, it's that right now we have everything we could ever dream of at our fingertips. As I look out at the sea of classmates that lies before me, I can't help but be amazed by the diversity of the graduating class of 2001. Many of us want to get started right away with new lives, and we'll be heading off to college in the fall. Some near, but some far. Many of us will ease this transition with two years of community college, using this time to hone academic abilities and develop better study habits. Still, some of us have opted to go to trade schools, join the military, or just take some time off. Our differences do not end here, though. We all come from unique religious, cultural, and familial backgrounds. And yet we've managed to thrive with the same environment. Admittedly, many of us stuck to social circles that matched our demographics as closely as possible. But, in the least, we've learned to get along with each other and accept each other's differences as part of life. Our generation is but a single way in the changing tide of American culture. Hopefully, mere acceptance will lead to openness and, eventually, friendship. And, hopefully, the generations that follow ours will embody these ideals on higher levels. It's safe to say that high school has been a different experience for all of us. Some of us may not feel that their time here has been the metamorphosing journey they were previously led to believe. Or maybe changes just occurred so subtly over four years that they've gone unnoticed. Whatever the case may be, I don't think anyone can truly say that they are about to leave this arena totally unchanged from the person they were four years ago. For some, these past four years really will be known as the best time of their lives. But for others, well, we can only aspire to build something better for ourselves. What I'm trying to say is that even though high school may not have been all it was built up to be, or maybe we didn't take advantage of all the things we could have, from here on out, our lives are solely what we make of them. The writer E.E. E. Cummings once wrote, that it takes courage to grow up and be who you really are. Well, fellow graduates, this is our chance. No longer must we feel as though we need to contour ourselves to the expectations of others. And no longer must we make decisions based on others' views of us. We have reached a point in our lives where our decisions must be made for our own benefits and for the sakes of our own development as human beings. Indeed. Evolution should be the goal of any person throughout their life. Striving to build something better for oneself is the driving force of existence. Whether this means getting rich, starting a family, or helping other people, finding one's place in life is something that we all eventually seek to accomplish. There are people now in their 30s, 40s, and even 60s who have led unfulfilling lives, and yet suddenly they find their passion and they turn things around. Meanwhile, here we are today, teenagers, some of us ready to take on the world, the beach, volunteer work, and others ready to take on a couch, television, and a big bag of potato chips. Whatever it is we plan, though, from now on, it is imperative that we realize that we are now in control of our own lives. We will make our own decisions, and only we can attain our dreams. This being said, there was one more quote I would like to mention, one from Albert Einstein. He said, those who have the privilege to know have the duty to act. Fellow graduates, we are the privileged ones, and I believe that as privileged individuals, Whatever our political, religious, or personal beliefs, 
We all have a duty to our fellow human beings. Poverty, social inequality, discrimination, and environmental degradation are all rampant in what we sometimes blindly and arrogantly call the greatest country in the world. But one of the greatest strengths of this country is that each and every one of us has the opportunity to change this. Whether it be through public service, political action, or simply by putting thought and consideration into our daily actions, we can make a difference. One person at a time, one thoughtful action at a time. I urge all of you to take this into consideration in your future decisions, and to look upon others in the world with respect, understanding, openness, and the will to make our society a better one. With this in mind, I now return to Maricela's speech from just a few moments ago. In it, she reminded us of the advice given to Luke Skywalker from an inspiring but at times annoying mentor. This advice was simple and concise. Do or do not. These words, although few, still hold great significance. It is our time to make our dreams come true. Wherever we go from here, it will be for our own sakes and no one else's. Whatever meaning we derive from life will be the product of our own self-actualization. In whatever area we succeed, it will be the product of our own initiative. So, as we step out of this arena and into the world as adults, or adults seem to be, I'd like us all to remember that not only are our lives ours and ours alone, but in those lives, we can look forward to decades of living, learning, and attaining whatever goals our hearts desire. Good luck. artistically, and in leadership. This class, the class of 2000-2001, has special significance for me as principal of West High School because it is my first senior class. You have set a standard which will remain high because you represent the best of West High and it will be used as a model for future classes to be measured by. I salute you. I am proud of all of these students who have upheld the great traditions of this school by giving so much of themselves to help West High continue to be the great school that it is. Whatever your destination, whatever path you may take, you know that these special young people are destined to make meaningful contributions to those around them and to society at large. Winston Churchill, in a college graduation speech, said only this, never give up, never give up, never give up. Never give up. Never give up. Never give up. That was his speech, and then he sat down. I say, you can fly, you can fly, you can fly, you can fly. And to the families, 
Thank you for giving your sons and daughters to West High School so that we can be privileged to be a part of their educational lives. To the families, you are to be congratulated for your part in providing guidance, support, love. We, the faculty of West High, share your pride. We have come to appreciate these young people, to admire them, and to care about them deeply. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to work with them and learn from them. And now, in accordance with the California Education Code and the rules and regulations of the Torrance Unified School District, and by the authority vested in me as principal of West High School, I certify that the students of the class of 2000-2001 have met all the graduation requirements. Mrs. Wilson, I present them to you as the representative of the Torrance Unified School District Board of Education. Class of 2001, I salute you. The only thing that I remember from my high school graduation was the sudden realization that it was going to be the last time that I was together with all my classmates. That's the only thing I can remember, so take a moment and enjoy the moment. I only know a small number of you, but some of you I have known for 13 years. I have watched all of you for some time. Some of you have been at my house over the years. Some of you over the years have been in my yard. Um, you have excelled in academics, in music, in art, in drama, and in athletics. There have been days when I cross my fingers before I open the sports page, hoping that West High had won. Please don't tell the other high schools I said that. I have read your newspaper and the articles that you have written about issues that you are passionate about. And that reminds me of something. I want to give you one bit of advice for your life after you leave here. And that is to use your voice, your own voice, as many of you have while you were here. Never let anyone else speak for you. The loudest and most strident voices are not always the voices of the majority. And often the message is lost because of the harshness of the tone. I urge you to have the courage to speak for yourselves, always, and not hide behind the rhetoric of others, no matter where you go or what you do after you leave here. I have been here three times in the last four years. Just as you are here for the last time, this is my last time here also. This school has been good to me and mine, and for that I am grateful. Today, I am reminded of a favorite quote of mine. Children are the living messages we send to a time that we will not see. I see before me a, a living messages that have a great deal of confidence. You are bright, persistent, self-confident, honest, creative, and often very funny. You do not need any more advice from me. I cannot begin to dream the dreams that you will dream. And I cannot begin to know the questions that you will answer. But what I wish for each one of you is a future full of all that your heart desires, no matter what it may be. And now, on the recommendation of Mr. Morrison, and on behalf of the Board of Education of the Torrance Unified School District, I accept the West High School Graduating Class of the Year 2001. Congratulations. Always remember that the present is the present to the world. You're unique 
and you're one of a kind. Your life can be what you want it to be. Take the days just one at a time. Count your blessings, not your troubles. You'll make it through whatever comes along. Within you are so many answers. Understand, have the courage, be strong. Don't put limits on yourself. So many dreams are waiting to be realized. Decisions are too important to leave to chance. Reach for your peak, your goal, your prize. Nothing wastes more energy than worrying. The longer one carries a problem, the heavier it gets. Don't take things too seriously. Live a life of serenity, not a life of regrets. Remember that a little love goes a long way. Remember that a lot goes forever. Remember that friendship, friendship is a wise investment. Life's treasures are people together. Realize that it's never too late. Do ordinary things, do ordinary things in an extraordinary way. Have peace and hope and happiness. Take the time to wish upon a star. And don't ever forget, for even a day, how very special you are. Look to this day, for it is life, the very life of life. In its brief course lie all the verities and realities of your existence. For yesterday is already a dream, and tomorrow is only a vision. But today, well lived, makes every yesterday a dream of happiness, and every tomorrow a vision of hope. Thank you.
As with any school, there were tough teachers and easy teachers, good teachers and not so good teachers. We were always trying to be on their good side and hoping each day that they were in a good mood. As we look ahead to high school, we can be confident that our experiences at Lynn will enable us to handle any situation. Whether we are remembering something Mr. Cheeseman taught us in science, or how we spent countless hours practicing for the talent show, or sitting in detention, we will use these experiences as stepping stones to the hurdles we may face in the future. All of the obstacles that we overcame in middle school will slowly be erased in our minds as we face even greater challenges in high school than in <coughs> college and eventually the real world. Where are we going to be when we turn 25? Are we going to become a doctor, a lawyer, a teacher? Will all of our childhood memories be forgotten and fade away? Our experiences at Berlin will have a profound influence over all our lives and hopefully lead us to a successful future. Thank you.
and I wasn't sure if that's who you wanted to go to. Will you see your, those people at the dance? Kelly and them? Yeah. Let's take the I got one already. Okay. 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 Okay, I just want you guys to know that on Nina's graduation, look at this traffic. All these mean people from Tardis. Jefferson. <laughs> I'm sweating like that's a pig, uh, aren't they? I think I might let Sam in. Six years old, can I know? Okay, Diane, go give the cake. Who? Yeah, this is a tight 
Sino ka kasi dyan sa green? Kaganda. Kaganda. Ayan, maganda yan. Ano mo na siya? Maganda. Ganyan ang bibilin mong style. Nagkakashape. Ano yan? Ano din? Yung pants din? Hindi. Hindi, hindi. Baro. Basta ka kanina, tinry ko kung po kasi ako conscious din sa chan. Hindi naman pala. Oo, oo. Malit eh, malit naman ang katawa eh. Oh, sapat mo nga. Baka kasi. Pero size 7 yun. Size 7? Siguro bumalik na dyan sa mga sa lakas. Pero yung ano, malaki daw yung tanya. Sis, may sis! May sis! Oh, ang ganda! Hindi, itataas-taas mo lang na gano'n. Itataas-taas mo lang. Hindi mo lang kailangan i-stress. Ganun mo, maganda. Wala ka sexy. Bakit po? Ganda. Anong size yan? 5.8. Ang ko lang dito. Ay, makina naman ako. Ayan, oh. Kaganda. Ganda. Yung mga kapatid niyo sa Pilipinas, may representative na dito. Ito, Lodi. Mm-hmm. Dahil hindi ko kaya pa ako masasama sa likod ko. Mas delikado pa kasama ko sa likod ko. Mas maraming mabigat na ito. Kaya dito na lang siya. Hindi, ang kali naman sa kayo ko. Para sa likod din yun. Yung dalawa na yun, yung fashion seat at sa kayo kali. At dyan lang yun yung suklay niyo. Basta si Manang. Ay, 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 yung arte, yung brass. Halo na kailangan. Si Nanay, mahirap bili ng damit. Kaya pag nakakikita ako ng parang kasa sa kanya, humibili ko na. Ah. Ang ganda. Bagay yung kulay na yan. Bagay kina na yan, tsaka yung green. Tsaka yung white din. Yung white na ganyan. Let's say it up. Okay, so then? Isko yung dalawa. Parang nakawasa-wasa sa ano, sa playground. Kamura ka, sabi kasi lang pala sa kanila. Yung mga ganyang tige, 80. Oh, wala. 75. Hindi ko lang kami mag-inanulagay na eh. Kasi dito rin hindi pala binibili. No, hindi ko siya. Dito rin binibili pagkatapos sa mga dito. Yung gaya nga, yung pinapatay. Ay, yun yun yun. Bakit gano'n, 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 gano'n yung mga tanong. Ay, gano'n, 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 gano'n,
Mommy will save the rapper. Oh my goodness. Rip it. Rip it. Just, just rip out the name and give it to him. Rip it. Rip out the name and give it to him. Yeah. That's the fun of it.
sushi no, 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 sushi kefalter. Are we going to see him? No, no, no. No sushi